Hello and good day. Today we are actually going to be hatching a very cute dragon that I like very much. Um, but very, very quickly before we move on to hatching these two dragons that I want to get out, I do want to remind you that the upcoming event schedule is out. And don't forget that next Monday we will be having not only the new Cake Craze event, but we'll also be getting the new Sigil campaign. And this is all Obviously, you can find it on the forums, and later on in the thread, uh, people were asking for pictures of the new Sigil Dragon, and at this moment, we haven't had official confirmation, but someone did post this image here, and apparently it's going to be the Fire Mage Dragon, and uh, this is what people are talking about, but we'll have to wait and see until it becomes official official, but you know, if this is the Fire Mage Dragon, I love it, because it's another bird. You know, he's got a very pretty li li little beat going on for him, and I am a big fan of the little birdie dragon, so um, I really do want to get my hands on him. Of course, we're going to have Bottomless Dungeon, which is actually going to have the Saggy Saggy Boy, which is another one of my favourites, and apart from that, not too much else, but we will also be having Yarn Dragon as the Dragon of the Week. So that is essentially all of the things that uh, are going to be coming up. Of course, we've also got weekend events, so you can also get the Fluffy Dragon in the Golden Opportunity, and we've also got the VIP event with the Sparkler Dragon in it, so we've got those going on. And of course, we've also got Whale Mart, and in this Whale Mart, there are pieces for the Soft Dragon, so if you were like two pieces away, this may actually be enough pieces to win you the Soft Dragon, finally. Um, I, I'm still 19 off, so I'm not going to get it, but... I'm glad that some people could at least get Lazra out of these bonus pieces. But anyway, aside from all of that introductory stuff, we have a beautiful toucan to get hatching. So this is of course his egg, and toucan was one of the milestone rewards in the Ancient Light event. And so yes, I got him through buying the little shrine, and uh, he's probably one of the few dragons in this game that I would be willing to buy, like a two pound shrine just to get him which is essentially what I did, but, you know, he's an epic, he's got energy, wind, and light, but I don't care about that. I don't care how strong or how weak he is, he is wonderful, and I appreciate him nonetheless. But the colourful Toucan Dragon uses its unique beak to maximise its fruit-eating potential. It's a social creature who enjoys tag-team raiding this trainer's snack cabinet with its flock. Wait, so there aren't- there isn't just one Toucan Dragon, there's an entire flock of them. They just go around stealing the trainer's food. Please, can I just have like 50 of them? You know, I've said this about doing it with ceremony before, and I'm 100% serious about that. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cover an entire island in ceremony one day. But can't you just give me 50 toucans, and I'll do it with the toucans before we get there? Or I'll just keep both. One island full of toucans, one island full of ceremonies. Please, please make it happen, I beg. Um... Maybe for every few fights in the Sigil campaign that we win, you know, we get Sigil trinkets, but we can also earn a duplicate toucan. Okay, that's not going to happen, <laughs> but I would love it if that was the case. But look at this boy. It's like, who thinks to combine a bird and a dragon? Because, you know, dragons already have wings. You know, it doesn't really make sense to combine a bird with a dragon, unless it's just a feathery dragon. But they do it, and um, I love it. So, well, we are, of course, going to feed up this boy into his adult form, get some more DCP, and that puts Orpa at level 20. And, you know, in the adult form, they get that big beak, which isn't quite as long as actual toucans, who, like, they're like giraffes. Our giraffes have really long necks, but they just extend horizontally instead. Um, I'm sure it's not convenient to have a long toucan beak, but, um... You know, nonetheless, I like this dragon, and it's weird seeing a toucan with the ears, but also something that I quite like, and very nice coloured legsies as well. So I am really happy that we have Mr. Toucan here. I don't say that quite often with epics, but an epic I am very happy to add. Now the other dragon that we've got here is one that we've already gotten before, which is of course Druid, and the main reason you want to be going for multiple dragons of the month is because whenever you hatch another Dragon of the Month, you of course get the Dragon Master Pass points. 
and so you'll see that that's just given us some gems it's given us some food and it's also given us some vip so at the moment i'm sitting at just below 1000 and since the druid dragon has such a high breeding chance it's what is that four or five outcomes total that means that you can just keep going back into your breeding den hitting rebreed that's it five of them and then you'll probably end up breeding quite a few druids throughout the month if you do that of course that's assuming you don't have anything else to breed or if you've got a second breeding den then you can just go for everything that you want to breed but you know it's a really really good way of just getting lots and lots of dragon collector points so yes you can get duplicates of the dragons of the month and plus say you don't have anywhere to put them if you keep getting lots and lots and lots of dragons of the month you can just go over to here and you can actually ascend your dragons that's not the ascend button but you can go and ascend them here which um might be useful for you because otherwise they're just going to sit on your islands they they'll generate gold obviously but to some people the actual materials are more important so um yeah keep all of that in mind and that's how most people end up finishing off the dragon master passes because of course with the current dragon master pass we can't actually get points for hatching and breeding commons so the only other reliable method is going for dragons of the month that are easily bred or just legendaries in general that are easily bred or lots and lots and lots of epics but generally speaking it's just easier to go for the dragon of the month get a plus 400 and then you know that's good enough that's good enough if you keep doing it through the month it's also going to be down to luck of course because what isn't in this game am i right but you know for anyone that is struggling with the dragon master pass that's how people tend to do it and also don't forget daily tasks they're also going to help so make sure you're doing your daily tasks every day as well but there's no other short-term super easy tactic to finishing off the dragon master pass it's just breeding luck and daily tasks so um i'm probably not gonna buy this one either because you know, they have nerfed the pass a little bit and plus you know berry frost is a nice looking dragon don't get me wrong but um i don't think it's worth buying this one after i've just bought the the, the shrine from the other event so i'll probably ease off of this one and we'll come back later but that is more or less everything to expect in the next week or so which a lot of you will be grateful for because you know we've just had that major event and uh you know not having too many events all at once apart from new cake craze which is could be exciting in a sense um i mean obviously we've got clan events and it's just a reskinned clan event but you know at least it's something that we're not used to which is better than uh, just repeated events over and over they make me go a little bit insane sometimes but you know i want to see how it is i want to see how it works i'm going to remain positive for now regardless of everything else that's been going on recently and i hope that we'll see some good stuff so anyway that is mainly what i wanted to go through with you for now i do wish you the best of luck with all of your breedies and again if you manage to get soft um, through the extra bonus pieces, I do hope you got Lazra. If I knew that we were going to be given all of these bonus pieces for soft right at the end, I obviously would have gone and super forced myself to do dungeon stuff, but you know, that's another complaint for another day, so I'll leave that for another day. But for now, enjoy your time, enjoy your day, and I do hope to see you again, my friend. So um, until then, adios.